Hey guys, it's Cindy and I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair and first thing I do is I take some flat iron protection. This is the generic brand thermal protectant spray from Sally Beauty Supply. It's a knockoff of the Chi one and I'm spraying about, I think that was like 8 or 10 sprays. Quite a bit because I want to pretty much make sure my entire head of hair is covered with protectant spray so that I can prevent split ends and like damage to my hair and all that fun stuff. Now I have pretty short hair so if you have longer hair you obviously are going to need some more sprays and that kind of stuff. Next I'm taking some clips. These are actually duck bill clips which you can get in any, any drugstore or Target or Walmart etc. I got these at my local beauty supply store and they're just duck bow clips. They hold your hair really well. I'm twisting into sections. The main thing here is that I'm taking the front crown part of my hair, or not really crown, but just like the very front pieces that are gonna be the ones that everyone sees on the top of my head, because I'm gonna save the best for last, and I'm going to get those uh, straightened out last so that they are uh, fresh and so that I can make sure that there's no wave in any of those sections. So, And then also the bottom part is what I'm getting access to by doing this so I can make sure the bottom of my hair is nice and straight. So I'm taking my Chi flat iron and this is just the ceramic one inch flat iron and as you can see I already started straightening my hair so how I'm doing this is I'm taking small sections and I'm running my straightener across a couple of times to get the hair hot now I have really thick hair so that's why I do this if you have thin hair you may not have to run your straightener through your hair twice or three times but with my thick hair it really is necessary for me to have to run it through my hair about two or three times to get it nice and hot and then what you'll see me doing sometimes is I actually hold straightener in place especially towards the ends of my hair and this really helps especially when it's humid or hot outside where you know the heat is kind of getting to your hair and making your hair frizz up it really helps to hold the straightness of your hair even longer. Um, I'm just working on the back side of my hair now. I have a graduated bob so my hair is really short in the back. It's probably a couple inches long. It's not very long at all and I'm just working through kind of feeling around with my hands you know what pieces need to be straightened and I'll go more in depth on the back in a minute but now I'm doing the other side of the of my hair and again these are the bottom layers so they're not the ones that are going to be like immediately visible when my hair is down. They're the ones that are just making everything you know the top layer is going to lay nice and smooth against it. Now I took my first section down so this is one of my front sections of my hair that everyone's going to see and it's really important that these are nice and straight. So as you saw I ran my straightener through my hair a couple times and then what I'm doing is I'm holding at the ends to kind of set my hair and set the ends so that uh, they don't get frizzy later in the day and that's what I'm going to continue to do throughout my hair. Now like I said, my hair is pretty short. I just got it cut, so um, I just like to wear my hair straight. Now you could easily flip your hair out with this kind of hairstyle and like all you would have to do is twist your hand so that your hair flips out and it gives you like a nice little cute hairstyle, but I'm just doing mine straight for the day and it takes me not very long to straighten my hair right now because it's so short, but if your hair is longer, it may take, you know, a longer time but you're gonna follow the same process that I'm doing where you section it off you know if you have thick hair run your straightener through a couple times even with a good hair straightener like a chi straightener like I have um, I find that you actually get a better flat iron or like a better flattening effect if you do run your straightener through your hair a couple times before you actually like straighten the hair officially and if you hold the straightener at the ends you will prolong the straightness that's just what I find with my thick hair. Now some people say, you know, warming your hair up before you straighten it by running the straightener through a couple times is damaging to your hair. That is why I use a lot of protectant. And also, I actually don't straighten my hair every single day. A lot of times, especially during the summer, I just dry my hair naturally or I'll just put gel in it or something like that and I won't actually flat iron it or blow dry it or anything. So it's important, you know, some people do have to 
flat iron their hair every single day, but if you can try to do some different styles and make it so that you're not always putting heat on your hair. If you have to put heat on your hair all the time, use a protectant. And I really like the generic one that I showed you because it is very comparable to the Chi flat iron protection, which we all know a lot of Chi products, especially for flat irons, are really, really good. And the generic one actually is very comparable to that. So check it out, Sally Beauty Supply. I'm going back to the back of my hair here, as you can see, and you know, I can't really feel all the pieces that need to still be straightened. So I grabbed my mirror and I looked, you know, behind me in my other mirror to see what sections still needed to be straightened. And I'm making sure to get those really good, pulled the mirror back out again so that I can make sure to get those, you know, you can't really see the back of your head very easily. So it's really handy to have a couple mirrors around to double check that you're getting the back of your hair nice and straight. There's nothing worse than having like the front of your hair looking all perfect and then the back looks like crud. Okay, this was the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. Uh, what is it called? Sleek and Shine. Hold on, let me find it. Oh, Anti-Frizz Serum. I told myself I was going to remember that and of course I didn't. Anti-Frizz Serum. Now really important with this, don't just cake that onto the front of your hair. Start in the back and work your way to the front because that stuff is pretty greasy. And this is my design line. Uh, what is it called? See, now I'm not remembering anything. This is my <laughs> Regis Design Line Defiant Grit Texturizer in Firm Hold. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of that on my fingers, my fingertips, and I'm going to rub that right on the bottom of the section of my hair that's on the crown the back of my crown I'm rubbing it right underneath there to give some nice volume in the back and I'm doing it kind of like I'm shampooing my hair and like massaging my scalp and this actually helps to lift the roots of my hair and with this haircut I find it looks really cute because it's like just really short in the front and then the back is like even shorter so putting some volume there really helps and that's how I flat ironed my hair I hope it helped you guys and I'll talk to you later bye